In this problem, we're told a tennis player receives a shot with a ball, 0 0.06 kilograms, traveling horizontally at 50 meters per second, and returns the shot with a ball traveling horizontally at 40 meters per second in the opposite direction. A, what is the impulse delivered to the ball by the racket? And B, what work does the racket do on the ball? So before, right, we have this ball traveling towards the racket at 50 meters per second, right? And then after, the ball, or the racket's gonna hit the ball, it's gonna travel backwards at 40 meters per second, right? We know the mass of the ball is 0 0.06 kilograms. So let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, what we're trying to do is go ahead and solve for the impulse. So we denote impulse by I, and so impulse is equal to the change in momentum. So essentially what we need to do is find the change in momentum. And so momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Okay, so if we want to find the change in it, right? We find the change by taking the final momentum and minusing the initial momentum. And that gives you the difference or the change in it, right? So the final momentum, right? If momentum equals mv, it's just going to be m final v final minus m, init, uh, m initial v initial. Keep in mind the mass is constant though, so the mass final and mass initial are the same. So you can just denote them both by m. And then all we do is factor them out, right? Keep in mind they're the same. So it's just m times v final minus v initial. So this is the formula for the change momentum, and the change momentum is the impulse. So really the impulse just equals this right here. So this is what we need to solve for. We need to take the mass, v, v final minus v initial. Okay, so we can go ahead and do this. So we know the mass is 0 0.06 kilograms, and then v final minus v initial. So when you do this, you need to make sure the units align. So what this is, right, keep in mind uh, there, you know, there's going to be units, right? So if, I'm going to denote the right is positive and the left is negative. So it's going to be 40, right? So keep in mind it's 40. Or actually, what you want to denote is denote, right, the direction is traveling as the positive. So actually, this way is going to be positive, this way is going to be negative. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So this is the initial, right, Because and this is the final, right, because this is after. So the initial momentum is 50, so we're going to say minus 50. And then V final is going to be negative because it's going in the opposite direction. So minus 40, right, because it's negative. So you have I equals 0 0.06 multiplied by minus 40 times minus 50. So that's just minus 90. And so, right, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and multiply this out. So minus 90 times 0 0.06. And when you do that, what you're going to go ahead and get is that it equals Yeah, so you're going to go ahead and get that equals, uh, this is minus 5.4, so minus 5.4, and then the units that you use to measure this is meters per Yeah, so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals minus 5.4, and then the units are kilogram meters per second. So these are going to be your units, kilogram meters per second. And yeah, so this is going to be the impulse or your answer to the first part, right? So this is A. So that's A. Now what we want to do is go ahead and do B. So what is B asking us for? So B is going to be asking us for what work does the racket do on the ball? So how do we find work? So work, you need to know work right, is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So if we can find the change in kinetic energy, we can find work. So kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, right? So if we want to find the change in it, it's just going to be 1 half or mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared, right? Because it's just the final kinetic energy minus the initial. And so what we want to do is factor out a 1 half m. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get 1 half m equals v final squared minus v initial squared. So this right here is going to be the formula we use to solve. So all you have to do is just plug in. So it's going to be 1 half times m. The mass is 0 0.06 times v final. So v final, right? Keep in mind, it doesn't actually matter um, the signs because we're squaring it. So you can just leave them both positive. v final is 40, though. So 40 squared minus the initial 50 squared. So yeah, go ahead and do this. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.06 times 40 squared, and then minus 50 squared. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals minus 27. So minus 27, and then keep in mind what we measure kinetic energy in, it's joules, right? So work is also measured in joules, right? So what work does the racket do on the ball? Minus 27 joules. 
So this right here is going to be your answer to B. Your answer to A was this right here. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.